Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a highly requested video and it's all about how to pack for an overseas beach resort style holiday. And I am off to Costa Rica, so I need to pack myself. And what do I do it, to make this job easier? It can be daunting. And I've learned over the last couple of years with all the mistakes I've made and I've got it down now pretty good that I don't get stressed about it. And this is what I do. So to me, it's not about packing light or being minimalistic. I mean, me, minimalistic with fashion, not gonna work. And I know a lot of other ladies want to look good when they're away. They tend to overpack or underpack and then they're disappointed because they don't have the outfits or the items they wanted to bring. And then they say, oh, I should have bought that. And I've done that myself. But what you do is you wanna pack smart. So you want to pack with the weight on the airplane that you're allowed to bring, but you want to get a number of outfits or outfit choices for your holiday. So the first thing I do is you get your itinerary. You look at where you're going for how many days, and I'm going for, let's say, seven to eight days. So I've looked at that. Um, you need to look at the temperature where you're going. You need to look at whether you're going to just spend your time around the pool, or maybe, uh, don't forget, you might wanna do a day tour, or you might wanna horse ride or jump off a building. I don't know, you might want to do something like that. And you've also got to allow for a day and night um, outfits. And so I've done that, but what I do after that, so I put my, I've looked at my itinerary, I put that down. And these are, as they say, the tools of the trade is a rack. Now these racks are not very dear. You can get them from Big W Target, maybe ha um, Howard Storage, anywhere. A rack is really good. Um, if you haven't got a rack, use your bed and you have a pen and paper. And what I do is I go to my wardrobe, or before I go to my wardrobe, I get my book, I've looked at my itinerary, and I write down everything that I'm going to be doing for those eight days. And it's just rough. And I will even say um, here, this is what I've got on day one, cocktail reception outfit and going out to dinner. And I, then I put to a restaurant times two. And I do that all the way through for each day. And that gives me just an idea on how many outfits I'm going to need. Usually I don't use all these outfits, but I have them then to feel comfortable that I've got everything that I need for the trip and then I can look nice basically. So I do that. Then after that, I get my rack and I go to my wardrobe and I find if you rack your clothes or take it away from your wardrobe, you can think a bit better or you can see things that you want to take because of all the clothes are all together, they're all jumbled. I mean, not everyone has their wardrobe looking the best. I mean, mine's messy at the moment. I need to do some work on mine. So I just pull clothes. Now, it might not be right the first time. I'm looking at this list. I'm pulling things. Um, if you haven't got one of these racks, what I suggest is maybe go to another bedroom. So grab some things. My bedroom's over here. I actually keep this rack in another bedroom. So what I do is I get things and I hang them on the rack or you could just throw them on the bed. Just pull it. Just pull all these things. Look at your agenda or your, your book here. Now, what I find is you might not get it on the first go. You might need a couple of days. And what I do is I rack up, um, and gotta remember, I'm a lot better at it now because I've done it. But I rack up and then I might um, come back to it in a day or two, because after a day or two, even I can sort of see things a lot clear, clearer. So what I do, and I'll give you an example, I pick things in my wardrobe that I can wear in multiple ways. For example, these are brand new because I've been looking for some linen pants for a long time and they're hard to get, that they're not too tight or too baggy basically. So for example, I have a matching top here, white, and I love white for beach resort holidays. It just looks so fresh and you can use it in so many ways. So I might get up on the morning and go to the pool. And I also have a bag of accessories here um, and I take usually a couple of pairs of sunglasses. I get my hat, I've got my outfit, I have my bag here. Okay, I've been at the pool, I've had a cocktail, so, and then I think, oh, might dress up a bit for lunch or go out to dinner. 
but you know, I've been in the sun all day, so I'm really not feeling, you know, I want to stay relaxed. So I go home, I decide to leave these on, and I might grab this top, which goes beautifully with it, and I do have to wash, wash this top, that's the other tip. Make sure when you pull things that have been hanging your wardrobe for a while, they don't need a wash. This needs a wash, so it has a couple of marks on it. So I pull that, and I think, oh, and I'll put this over the top of it. So I have another outfit still using my white pants. Okay, so the next day, I've decided that I want to wear a dress. I'm a dress girl. So what will I wear? Okay. I might want to wear this dress, which is a bit more dressy for resort, you know, or I might be, I don't know, shopping or something like that. So I then might pull my linen long sleeve, put that on and knot it. So what I'll do is I'll cinch it all in and I'll knot it like that. Um, and so I also can come home after shopping. This is too hot. I'm over this now. And... I'm going to go for a swim. So I can actually get my togs on, put this on over my togs, my hat, and go to the pool. So as you can see, everything can be used in a different way. And the other reason, people might say, why do you take long sleeve tops? I, you have to be aware that sun. So I might be having a cocktail and fall asleep, and I've got my togs on, and I like to have something that covers my body because the skin damage. So I do that. I always carry denim. You've got to remember, resort holiday, you want to look nice, but you don't have to be overdressed. So a couple of denim pieces. This is also another idea. It's black. It's a long, you know, maxi skirt. I can dress that up. I can just put that with a cami. Also, I can grab this piece, which I've also worn to the pool over my togs, put that on again, put some wedges on, and off I go. So that is the idea, is to make sure everything in your wardrobe has a purpose. But, so not to be boring, what I do is I also pick a piece that doesn't go with anything. I mean, I love this dress. This will be worn probably just one time somewhere, just because I love it. So don't worry about being too serious with your wardrobe. And also the tip I can give is still be yourself. Still stay with your own style. Don't change who you are for your holiday. Pick from your wardrobe and just see how many ways you can wear them. And if you're really having trouble too is, put all your outfits together on the bed, fold them up, and then see how many, like you might have four outfits, just say, do four outfits, put them on the bed, and see how many you can mix and match. So that's my tips for overseas. Have a good holiday, everyone. See you again next time. Bye. please subscribe, push like and follow me on Instagram and don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye.